Hello and welcome to Ouya Classics. In this installment, the game is Antichromatic, a game that is completely free and is easily one of the best games available currently on Ouya. This game is basically what would happen if you took get the games Battle Kid, Ikaruga, and Metroid and, you know, mashed them all together. This is a game that has extreme difficulty, um, uses a polarity system, sort of like Ikaruga does, and is basically has the elements from Metroid where you, you know, progress from area to area and get new abilities to gain access to further, um, further into the game. Um, this game is difficult, but I just love this game, and the fact that it's completely free is just the icing on the cake. This is a game that would be a, that would be worth buying even if it was, say, ten dollars. So the fact that it's completely free is just mind blowing to me. All right, let's play some of this. So you have either you have one of two difficulties: you can play on hard or very hard. So let's try uh, just hard. Alright, so the game is an action platformer where you can control your character with either the left stick or the D-pad. You have two different dimensions you can work with, black or white. And you notice the platforms that they'll either appear or disappear. And if you, they disappear, you'll fall down. The object is much like Battle Kid in that it's a single screen game, um, but it's Metroid-like in that you don't start off with any real abilities and you have to progress through the game um, to gain your abilities. So the first things I gotta do is I gotta watch out for these spikes here which only exist in the black dimension, so I gotta turn it to white where I can progress through here. It's also kinda like V V V V V V V. yeah that game, um, if you ever played that as well. So I gotta collect this white cannon. Now when I turn white, I'll be able to fire. You can also fire in multiple directions by simply holding down whatever that direction is with the analog stick. However, you can't do it with the D-pad, which kinda sucks. This is basically the game telling you that, uh, yeah, you need to uh, turn around. You can't progress through here. So, let's do that. Let's go this way now. So now that I have the white gun, I'll be able to take out these walls. And I think you can probably guess what the next step is. Pick up the black gun, which allows me to shoot black uh, walls, I guess. This is telling me, like Metroid, well, you need to be able to, you need a power up to be able to proceed. Probably the double jump. The game's 4x3 and black and white aesthetic sort of help solidify the fact that this is a retro style game. And um, you know what? I'm completely fine with that. If that's what the developer wanted, I'm fine with that. There. All right. Perfect. I gotta get this thing. Oh, dang it. <laughs> there it is. First death. There we go. Get rid of that. The game kind of screws with your uh, with your expectations of a platformer because it isn't necessarily about avoiding everything. It's just about avoiding things that um, aren't in, or that are in your plane. 
when you're white, you're immune to the white damage, but when you're black, you, you're immune to the black damage. So right now, I can ignore the white um, shurikens, and I only have to worry about the black ones. Now in this dimension, I gotta take out that guy. And see, the only threat here in this middle room is that white spinning saw that's coming down the middle. The black one and the uh, ant or whatever it is is not actually a threat to me unless I change dimension. In which case, that would be very stupid because then I have to fight that and the black saw coming down. So I just gotta time my run across. Alright. Now I can double jump when I'm white. Again, same problem as before. There we go. The only shurikens are in danger, or are, I'm in danger of, are the white ones. So let's jump white. There we go. Now that I have the double jump ability, I should be able to get out of here. I'm not quite sure what these things are. I can double jump, get up here. Maybe those are your save states. Check your map very much like Metroid. Hmm. Alright, well, let's proceed onward. Ah, but I can't proceed onward that way. I don't have the green ability. And we're back where we started from. So now we gotta go this way because we have the double jump ability. Challenging. Ah, dang it. I see what they want me to do. It's just gonna be difficult. See, almost. There we go. Ready for this type of game. How about that? I didn't realize that. You can fire with the right analog stick. Huh. I learned that just now. You can fire in whatever direction you want. Ah, dang it.
Of course. You know, making it the uh, the dual stick um, thing and the D-pad not being particularly useful in this game. Well, I guess you can go with the D-pad and right analog stick um, combo. This game works very well with the Ouya controller, and uh, you know it's one of those games where it's, it you really would prefer using this rather than I don't know the uh, using a PS3 controller or something. Ah, dang it. <laughs> but, there we go. That's what I needed to do there. It's definitely Ikaruga. Or maybe a portal bit, I guess. But I definitely get the Ikaruga vibe when I play this game. Much more so than anything else. Now, I haven't said anything about the music yet, but uh, the music in this game is quite enjoyable in the fact that it's, uh, you know, very simplistic and very mellow. It, that, it's not something that will get in the way of all the action. And I'm very thankful for that because, you know, they really could have done with, I don't know, some sort of distracting music. Right now, I can only double jump when I'm white, so... Oh, dang it. Just watch that death counter and keep going up. So the game psychs you out by making you think that you have to avoid everything, but no, it's just the ones that just the objects that are in your plane, so it's just the black ones right now. But if I turn white, then the uh, platforms go away. How did I have such an easy time of this to, to begin with? Dang it. 
dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Ah. Trying to assess my situation there. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. I bet this game is like Battle Kid, and that hard, very hard mode is like gives you like I don't know, one life or something. It is like. Hey, never die and beat the game. Yeah, yeah, that'll happen. Oh, it happened again. Every time that happens, I just fixate on that. I guess you can't do that. I bet this room is going to be one of those uh, kind of bottleneck rooms that stops a lot of gamers from proceeding. People are like, oh yeah, I got up to the room except for that room that, uh, you know, that run room, and then people are like, oh yeah, I know that room. I never got past that either. But I'm going to do my best here to see if I can proceed. Ah! Ah! So close! Dang it! That was my fault. Dang it. Yep, but this is definitely just like Battle Kid and VVVVV. Um, if you've ever played either one of those type, either one of those games, where you'll die over and over and over, but uh, you'll just keep trying until eventually you give up. But yeah, let's forget that part. Dang it! Dang it! So you gotta be careful because there's just a pit of spikes below you at all times. Proceed. I did it somehow. All right. 
Now let's not make any stupid mistakes here. Hooray! I feel so proud of myself now. And that's really the, uh... That's really what makes these games so great. Moon boots out, you do wall jump. Oh, Like Batman. Hooray for this! If I can do it right. <laughs> there we go. Ah, dang it. But... It's not the bottleneck room anymore, so I don't care. Alright. There we go. Dang it. There we go. Hooray for good design games. Dang it. Uh, another bottleneck room. Okay, come on. Don't be like that. There we go. Dang it. You gotta land just perfectly. There we go. Dang it. Well, despite the fact that I've died 124 times in this game, I'm really enjoying this. I think this is one of the best games on Ouya. And so if you have an Ouya, I would highly recommend you check this game out. Dang it. <laughs> and if you're thinking about buying an Ouya, this is definitely one of the games I would recommend that you get for the systems right away. You know, it's hard to really, you know, fault games that are completely free, but this game, you know, I kind of wish that it was, mm, I don't know, a little bit more aesthetically varied than it is. Though, don't get me wrong, I like the black and white aesthetic to it, it's just that everything kind of looks like everything else. And I guess they kind of went with, like, a Game Boy aesthetic because, you know, why not? Because people are nostalgic for that. It was just recently the 25th anniversary of the Game Boy, which makes me feel frickin' old. Um, dang it! <laughs> so, maybe this is like a nostalgia trip for the original Game Boy, but, uh, you know, even so, I wish that there was like a little bit more variety in it, because even original Game Boy games, if you go back and look at a lot of Game Boy games, they have a lot of variety in them, surprisingly. Dang it! That was my fault. The controls are as perfect as they could be. Um, I feel like it implements everything on the controller very well, you know, using the face buttons. You can fire with the triggers if you want. Um, yeah, there's, there's a map. You can turn off the music if you want. But I like the music, so let's turn it back on. There we go, that's what I was supposed to do all the whole long. Except I wasn't, because I was being dumb. Dang it. But, the developer sure was right, this is not an easy game. Dang it. Alright, I'm gonna make this my last room, and once I proceed to the next room, that will be the end of the video.
Alright, as promised, the end of the video. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions about this game, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below, and also be sure to click the like button, because clicking the like button lets me know that you want to see more OUYA classics, because of all the various series that I do, OUYA classics is one of my absolute favorites, because I think that the OUYA has sort of a bad rap. It doesn't get the recognition it really deserves, because there's all kinds of fantastic games developed for it, and people think that it's, I know it's like a Flappy Birds on the TV machine, you know, or something like that. It's absurd. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys, um, and I'll see you guys next time.